red tape. This represents Brazil more than soccer and samba. For even the most basic of procedures, Brazilians are used to queuing for hours, signing myriad forms and shuttling documents back and forth to different official agencies. In fact, Brazil is one of the few countries in the world where a simple signature is not enough to prove your identity. Here, your John Hancock means nothing unless it has been validated by a notary. And this overly bureaucratic system was inherited from colonial times, stemming from the Portuguese crown's complex procedure for overseeing land donations to settlers in the 16th century. And this entire web of red tape revolves around one institution, the notorious cartorios, or notaries' offices. With one in every district, cartorios are where you do the lion's share of your queuing, filling in forms, and signing documents ad infinitum. Things got so slow that in the 1970s and 1980s, Brazil had its own debureaucratization ministry, which later morphed into small claims courts. To this day, the economy ministry has its own debureaucratization secretary. And it's no surprise that the system's inefficacy is directly linked to corruption. Bureaucracy can be co-opted by political interests, social movements, but also corporate interests. A big chunk of Brazil's important offices have become fiefdoms of political parties, with staff appointments agreed in opaque behind-the-scenes negotiations. It's also a prime playground for the so-called Jechinho Brasileiro, and if you don't know what that means, click the link in the description to find out more. So if you're planning on living or investing in Brazil, a good rule of thumb is to be patient and always ask questions, read forms carefully, and once you pluck up the courage, engage in some Brazilian negotiation tactics. Because as Brazilians say, no fim, tudo dá certo. It all works out in the end. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos on everything Brazil.